All right, I'm going to start working on the uh, legs of the horse, and then I'll move to the head, and we'll see how far I can get today. The first thing I need to do is tilt this part of the horse up so I can see the leg, the leg of the horse. Can't right now because it's uh, aimed at the ground. Okay, it took me a while to figure out how to uh, get this uh, mounted uh, and get it mount mounted so it doesn't fall over so that I've got a good clear view of that leg and uh, this is what I came up with all the screws had to come in from underneath this board that I had to attach this to but uh, it took me a while to figure it all out but I'm ready to get started on the leg and I'll be right back once I get everything organized here and uh, get started on it I had the bu muscles basically here. I just have to get them more in uh, detailed out a little bit. You know, when you're working on a sculpture, you're not working on a painting where you only have to worry about what you can see from the angle you're looking at it. When you're working on a sculpture, you gotta get every angle. Back, front, side, up, down. You can't get away with just doing what would be seen from one angle. Okay, I've made the uh, hoofs, the front hoofs, out of uh, monster clay, and now I'm just going to paint them real quick. I didn't show you how I do that because I cover that in my instructional videos that are on horses, and uh, I have those for sale online. I'll put a link to a review of all my instructional videos. I've got nine of them. And uh, you can take a look and see if there's anything that interests you if you want to see how I do this. And it was so easy. It took me 30 seconds to uh, do this. But I've taken 50 years of my uh, figuring out little shortcuts, little hacks, so to speak, and uh, I pass them on to you in my uh, instructional videos.
Well, it looks like the only thing I'm going to get done today is one leg. But at least I got the leg done. I'm going to use a little Ronsonol to soften the clay and uh, get rid of some of the ridges that uh, build up as I work on it. As I've said before, there's something in the Ronsonol that literally melts the clay. I don't know what it is, but it works well. All right, I'll uh, attack the other leg tomorrow, and then I'll probably do the head on uh, Friday. Wow, this took a long time, to, but that was because I had to try to get this thing to an angle that I could work on it. It was uh, impossible to see what I was working on at the uh, position it was at, especially if it was standing at the uh, actual stance. So, sometime preparatory work takes almost as much time as the sculpting does. Well, I'm happy with that. Came out good. All right, everybody, I'll see you uh, manana. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Get out of here, buddy.